Sculpty is brought to you by Baby Lock. Baby Lock sewing and long arm machines, from piecing to long arming for the love of sewing. Aurafil. Aurafil Italian thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Dear Stella, a unique fabric brand with modern style. Fairfield. Together, we can make beautiful things. Hovel's Sewing. Cut to the point with Hovel's Sewing. Moda. Make something quilty with Moda Fabrics. Northcott. Cottons that feel like silk. Omnigrid. Providing quilters with specialty rulers and accessories for over 30 years. Hi, thanks for watching Quilty This Week. Linda Rainwater has joined me today. Hey, Linda. Hey, Mary. We have a big, big quilt loaded up on our mid-arm machine today, and we want to talk to you about managing a big quilt like this. It's, uh, you need a little help sometimes with this. So Absolutely. This is kind of all tossed on here, Linda. What should we do first? Right, well, I mean, you finish your quilt, you're so super excited, and then you got this big blob. So like, first, you gotta take a step. Just take a step yes. and manage your quilt. So yeah. it looks like a big wreck here. So what I wanna do before I figure out where I'm gonna actually get started, I think the smart thing to do is kind of get the thing spread out because mm -hmm. you don't want to sew the front and the back together. Oh. So make oh, sure yeah. you only have single layers here. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I think it's kind of cool. If you have, you could use like a, um, a tube from a gift roll of uh, paper, mm -hmm. or you could go to the fabric store and get one of those big rolls from the drapery fabric and you could roll it here if you have a big long one. But here, we've got mm -hmm. a small enough quilt actually mm -hmm. that we could just kind of roll this up so now, this beast has been tamed. Oh, so it's I tamed. like the way you think. It's tamed, and somewhat. And you can also clip it, right? You, you could use it. some uh, big clips. I wouldn't Absolutely. do anything too, like here on the set, you know, we have these huge clamps. That might, that might damage, you know, might, might leave a mark in your quilt. That might be too heavy duty, right. but something, you know, strong enough to hold it. Right, absolutely. Um, and then, oh yeah, it's good to have a pal too. It's to good help to have you. a pal. Okay, so then, we got these, right. which are helpful. These are machine quilting gloves, and they have little rubbery tips on them that help you manage a small quilt or a big quilt so your arms don't get tired. Right. But this is so big, I don't know if this is enough. Well, you know, I really do think that part of the thing about quilting is being able to move your fabric along and get things kind of laid out so that you can plan and execute your quilt well. And so the gloves are good because they help you move your fabric, but there's, and you got it, better, better tell me, things. Tell me what this is. Right, so this is a quilt grip. And what it has is a little bit of a grippy fabric or material underneath. And what it does is it allows you now to move your fabric like this. And so even if, if you notice, like I can do this and my fabric might be bunching on the outside, mm -hmm. It's not going to bunch on the inside, and that's the most important part, right? Yes. And this one's good, but you've actually got some better ones that I think I that people will really like. Can I please just do this on every one? Yes, you okay. can. I just did. You All did. right, so tell me about each one. Right, of these. so each of these are kind of nice because I think that when it comes to quilting your quilt, a lot of times people want to rush through it because they think big machine, that means faster. But what right. it really means is that you can get the detail that you're looking for. And so this is a grip that actually you lift up this part of your machine so you can tuck this underneath. And so now this is safely housed here and you have these really cool little holders here. Really great. Okay, and so two different sizes, right? So the larger size or smaller and just depending upon where you are on the quilt, then you would use either one size or the other in order to be able to keep your surface nice and flat. And that, I mean, we talk about holding tension in your shoulders when oh. you're quilting. It, it can be really easy to do. People get nervous and focused so they kind of tense up and like clamp right. down on their teeth. And Absolutely. this one is gonna just totally get rid of that. I mean, it's ergonomic, really. It is ergonomic. That's pretty great. Very, very nice. Okay, so then so then we wanna also talk about some other tools of the trade, uh, some rulers. And we call this ruler work in quilting. Linda, could you tell me about these small ones first and then we'll talk about this one. Absolutely, so I've had people ask me a lot because they know that I like to quilt and they say, well, what ruler should I buy? And I say, well, it really depends upon what it is that you're doing. And so this, you have this on top because I think she knows this is my absolute favorite. So this one's really nice because you actually put this inside of the foot. And so as you're quilting, 
you just ride this down and what it does is it will help you follow. So you can put this centered on an actual seam of your quilt or you can have it be riding on the side. So I think the thing that looks really nice in modern type quilting is just a bunch of parallel rows of machine stitching. So yes. this one's really super good for that. And, and, a quilt, and this quilt would be, it'd be great with straight line stitching. Absolutely. Just like go perpendicular to the straight line piecing, it'd be right. great. You could just do it crazy lines everywhere. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mm -hmm. really matter. And they can be wonky too. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight, but if you're looking for straight, that's a good one. Now this one's kind of nice because it has a little bit of an angle and it has a curve top. So if you were to take this and follow the curve and you keep picking it up and moving it, you could do that little scallop. What's that scallopy thing called? I think it, oh, clamshell? Clamshell. It's clamshell. Clamshell. Ding, ding. I always just kind of like zone out. Scallop okay, works shell, too, but right, yeah. Scalp, and so this is a larger clamshell. Yeah, and this will, sorry, go ahead. No, this is a larger clamshell and then this will do the exact opposite, mm. right? So it'll do like a little inside kinds of crazy shapes. My question is, yes. are these tiara specific rulers? Absolutely not. The thing that you have to pay attention to when you're buying rulers, however, is that this machine has a quarter inch depth here on the foot. And so when you buy a ruler, you need to make sure that it's a quarter of an inch because as the machine is stitching up and down and as this arm is moving up and down, it needs to be thick enough that it doesn't get scooted underneath the foot, but it also has to be shallow enough that the arm can come down on it. So once again, it's the thickness of the ruler itself, not the markings on it, but the thickness of the plastic needs to be a quarter inch at least. Right, right. absolutely. Cool. That's, that's the key. Our last ruler, the wavy edge. I love this ruler. The wavy edge. I love um, it. Tell me how to use it. Okay, so if you wanted to do wavy edges, and obviously this has a um, shorter scallop, which is a little bit shallower, mm -hmm. and this is deeper, and it's going to be exactly the same way. So if instead of following on your straight lines, what you wanted to do was bisect it and possibly do like a curvy edge, mm -hmm. well, here you go. So if you're polarized with fear when it comes to a free arm quilting on your machine, mm -hmm. then use lines or use rulers, and it'll help take the fear away. Right, and we've done some free motion uh, episodes on Quilty that, you know, kind of help you just play around and if you doodle in your spare time that's great just practice circles and stuff but but yeah if you need more help rulers are great and there have been award-winning quilts that use ruler work a, a lot of them actually because it's a uh, it's a standard method so Absolutely. get some helpers like these right. use get, those tools get some helpers like these and um and be a yeah be a ruler for halloween you know you could make it work I don't know. Linda, thanks. You're welcome, Mary. I've, I've wanted to be a ruler for a Halloween this <laughs> show. That's why I like having Linda on the show, because she actually likes my goofiness. Um, and, and I hope you do, too. Thanks for watching Quilty. Hope you learned something today, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Quilty is brought to you by Baby Lock. Baby Lock sewing and long arm machines. From piecing to long arming for the love of sewing. Aurafil. Aurafil Italian thread. Perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Dear Stella, a unique fabric brand with modern style. Fairfield, together we can make beautiful things. Hovel's Sewing, cut to the point with Hovel's Sewing. Moda, make something quilty with Moda Fabrics. Northcott, cottons that feel like silk. Omnigrid, providing quilters with specialty rulers and accessories for over 30 years.